Hi everyone, welcome to All Inspired. Today we will be doing some deep cleaning. I have some areas that are in need of some love. This will probably be a few different series, I'm not sure, but we're just going to start off with some of the most important areas, getting them all taken care of and cleaned up, some deep cleaning, some stuff that you don't do every single day, but stuff that is highly used and needs to be cleaned. If you're new here, my name is Amanda. I have a blended family of five. My daughter has two little girls that are in middle school and elementary school and I have a senior this year. My daughter is almost completely finished with school. So this is a pretty exciting year. Uh, one of my husband's daughters just started middle school so that's also really exciting as well. So we just have a bunch of fun stuff going on here. But I am going to get started off with my the my bedroom i know my husband's bedroom this thing just needs to be taken care of these blinds were just really really dusty i know that i dusted them off whenever we first moved in but if you can see over to the left side there's that patchwork right there we had like some extra holes in the wall i mean we created them essentially because they had an old school um what do they call those uh, like security system installed and there was different like different devices all over I know that's a really random place to have something I think that might have been for a cable wire or something but in my room you will see several different areas where there actually are big holes in the wall and it's because we had to take something out of that area, an outlet or something along those lines, or like I said, there was even a whole system where you could talk. It no longer worked. It would have been neat. You know, I could have called the girls down from dinner straight from the kitchen. It would have been pretty cool, but unfortunately, it was probably from the 80s, maybe early 90s, and so it was quite outdated and it no longer worked, and so we had to get all of that cleaned out, and then we wanted to get the walls repaired because we are going to be painting and doing a makeover soon and whenever they come in they have to sand that down and it gets pretty dusty and so these blinds were just really dusty they needed to be clean I got them thoroughly cleaned and then I wanted to take care of the carpets because again in almost every room in this upstairs they have done patchwork and so it's just so dusty and I wanted to make sure I got a thorough cleaning of all of the carpets up here because I don't want that dust you know you walk around on the carpets and that stuff gets kicked up into the air and then you're breathing that in so they finished on this day and I was like I am getting this taken care of right away I'm getting these blinds done and I am getting this carpet clean I think this year I'll get a jump start on Christmas decor. Right after Halloween, I think I will just pack up all the fall and jump into Christmas. I do really love the Christmas season. Halloween is a lot of fun. Thanksgiving is nice as well, but Christmas is always my favorite. I do enjoy the new year. I mean, I like the holidays. I like holidays in general. It doesn't really matter, but if I had to choose, hands down Christmas is my favorite I love the trees the beautiful lights it's just so much fun it always seems like a great time of year I always seem like I'm in good spirits so I just I love Christmas time I'm really excited for some of my Christmas decor I'm going to be using some things from past and some new items so I'm getting really excited about that if you guys are getting excited for Christmas and want to see some more content hit the like button and subscribe Just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. You tell me you'll stay, or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. You set my world on fire. You set my world on fire. I just want you. 
I just need you I don't know what it is you do I just want you I just need you I don't know what it is While I work to get the carpet clean, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about me. So when I was younger, when I was in third grade, I guess it was, I moved into a new house and it was an old farmhouse. It was over 100 years old. It had no insulation. It had a wood burning stove. There was no HVAC. There was no vents in the house. There was nothing like that. It was never updated. It was just a wood burning stove and a window AC unit that was in the living room. Like that's all we had. So it was a rather, um, unique childhood I guess you could say uh, we didn't live off the grid or anything like that but um, you know my mom and my stepdad decided that they didn't want to live in close quarters with other people they didn't want to be like on top of each other they wanted some land and so we rented a home from these farmers they lived in the home their family actually probably lived in the home and they probably they might have even grown up there I'm not sure but this was their home and they didn't really want to do anything with it and so they listed it for rent and when my stepdad saw it he jumped on the opportunity he wanted to move there so bad and it wasn't all terrible like i said we we split wood and we burned wood and if you woke up in the middle of the night and when i got older if you were old enough you threw a piece of wood on the fire so that the fire kept going and you weren't freezing cold in the morning you know things like that but we also had a lot of fun there we had 118 acres that we could roam on um we had four wheelers there was a huge uh, I would say it was resembled of, of a pond, but it's called a seepage hole. When you say that, it sounds gross, but it's not. It's just a pond, but we, it was right next to the river, and so it was a beautiful place, and although it didn't have modern amenities, I mean, we had a bathroom and all that good stuff, but it was a different type of childhood, and I cannot tell you how ungodly appreciative I am of my brand new home. This place is absolutely beautiful. It has heat and air conditioning. The whole HVAC system is there. <laughs> but it also, I've never imagined living in a home like this. And it's just, it's, I am so absolutely grateful. Here's our backyard. It is just stunningly beautiful. It's hard to show in this clip, but the, the leaves on the trees are so yellow that they almost look like they were glowing. It was just absolutely beautiful the way that the sunlight was reflecting on them. We have a creek right here in our backyard and just the birds are chirping and it is just so beautiful. I am absolutely grateful that this is my life and that I have the ability to live in this beautiful home. I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about me and that, yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna move right along and I am going to w actually wash these blinds. If you're wondering what was in the sink, it's just Tide powder and really warm water because I wanted to get these really, really clean. I also wanted it to smell pretty fresh and it did smell really good in here. You guys see coconut? I was not kidding. Wherever I am, coconut wants to be. So she's just hanging out with me as I'm cleaning the blinds, just having a good old time. I don't even know what she's chasing after right now, but it looks like she's gonna get it. <laughs> it's probably one of her toys back in that corner. Um, but I'm just gonna go along. I'm gonna clean all of these blinds, and as I'm cleaning them, I'm really trying hard not to touch the little fabric line in between. You know, you have the little, um, they're almost like ropes that go down that connect the blinds together. You don't really want to touch that with your wet washcloth because if you push dirt up against that, after so many times of doing that, it's going to turn that area brown. And then it's really hard to clean that. You'd have to probably take all of the blinds down, soak them in bleach and, and all that. So I really try to avoid 
touching that area with my cloth but these did need a thorough wipe down they were quite dusty i attempted to dust them off with just my duster and it just didn't get it all off they're just they're just really dirty it's probably been a little while since they've been dusted um the previous owners might have burned candles down here which sometimes if that gets stuck on the blinds it'll make it to where the dust sticks to it even worse so when you're going over it with the feather duster it's just not coming off so these ones they actually needed like a thorough cleaning a thorough washing and I do suggest doing this at least twice a year if not four times a year every quarter just because you know all that dust being in your air it affects your lungs and if you're like me you open your blinds every single day I mean I close them at night I open them in the morning so they're constantly being in motion which you bring some of that dust up into the air and then that goes into your lungs so I would suggest doing it every quarter just making it part of your deep cleaning tasks to wash the blinds and just get them thoroughly cleaned And I'm showing you right here. See, I'm really, really trying to avoid making contact with that string right there so that it doesn't turn brown. I wanna keep those nice and white and fresh looking. So I just do a little swipe in the middle and I really avoid that section right there. in my head about where it went wrong and i've got no idea where you've been who you are not anymore all i got is this polaroid picture of us from june 24th it's where i kissed you for the first time laid on your sheets you gave me your heart and said you trusted with me but all i did was let you down time and time again wasn't my intention maybe we should have been friends so you're someone i used to know but nobody said it be easy but maybe i should have known if you're wondering where coconut went here she is she definitely does not like the vacuum at all so she takes off up here is her little throne at the top of the stairs. She can look down the staircase. She can see what's going on, but she can make an easy getaway if we bust out the vacuum or something that scares her. This is one of her favorite spots. She really does like to lay up at the top of the stairs quite often, but that's where she headed off to. Now I'm gonna go ahead and focus on the kids' room. I'm gonna get both of theirs nice and cleaned. They didn't have a ton of patchwork in here. I don't even think there was any patchwork in here. But it doesn't matter. At the end or towards the end of the carpet cleaning, you'll see me dump out the water. And that was actually just from, um, I, you know, you have to change this out uh, several different times. So I changed the water out 
probably three times I think and so that was just me dumping it out the one time I don't think you guys wanted me to see me dump the brown water out three different times but yeah it was just the one time that I was dumping out the water and it is really really brown I was really surprised I'm very happy that since I had this out already I just went ahead and got their carpets clean I felt like that it needed it for sure and after seeing that water it absolutely did need it Sometimes you get under my skin like a lover And sometimes you don't wanna come back Cause you'd rather stay out with another Talking to strangers and make out spontaneously Now I'm so tired of You see how gross that was? I'm telling you, these floors needed a thorough deep cleaning. And because of how nasty that was, I am going to go ahead and get these stairs vacuumed as well. I know this is a lot of repetitive, a lot of floors, but let's just be honest, guys. The floors are probably one of the dirtiest things in our house. So it is very important that when we're deep cleaning, we make sure that we get them really well. I would have went ahead and carpet cleaned these also but I have my small carpet cleaner somewhere and I'm not sure where it is but I'm gonna find that this week and I'm gonna get these done as well but I figured I would at least give them a really thorough vacuum honestly the stairs have been my husband's biggest pet peeve we didn't have stairs in our old house so I didn't even realize this but he's vacuumed off the stairs probably two or three times since we've moved in because it drives him crazy. We have stairs leading up and stairs leading down and my husband cannot stand when they get dirty and so he's been cleaning them quite often but I figured since I got the upstairs nice and thoroughly cleaned I was going to go ahead and get these stairs cleaned as well. So what is one of your guys' biggest pet peeves? What just drives you the crazy what is the like you, you just can't stand it if you see it you just got to take care of it mine would be clutter and dishes although I can let the dishes go because I hate doing dishes I will do them and my husband does them quite often as well but I hate them but most importantly, I hate clutter. When I walk into a room and the room has a bunch of clutter or just a bunch of things that are out of place, you know, the things have 
a place where they belong, but they're just randomly scattered, that is my biggest pet peeve. I feel like that gives me the most anxiety and I feel like in my head I'm making a checklist. Like, okay, that book needs to go upstairs, that needs to go in the kids' backpack, that needs to go um, downstairs, you know, making this checklist in my head and I can't just sit down and relax and watch TV. I gotta get up and get it all picked up. So I would say my biggest pet peeve is clutter. My worst chore is dishes. We were booed. I've never done this before, participated, and nobody in our old neighborhood did this, but I have seen it on social media, and I think it's absolutely adorable. Our neighborhood does, um, you know, these, these boo buckets, and they're so cute. So we got a boo bucket. We got some nice little treats in here. There's hot cocoa spoons. There's some bath bombs in here. There's a cute little sign. We also got some pumpkin cupcakes. I think this is just the most fun and adorable thing to do in your neighborhood. It's just so cute. So if you guys would like to see our boo bucket, go to my Instagram. I have it listed on my reels. We also did a boo bucket for someone in our neighborhood. And our sweet neighbors brought these over to us. Look at how beautiful they are. We are absolutely loving our new neighborhood. It is so wonderful to live here. We are so grateful that we have this wonderful house. Thank you for everyone that stuck around to the end of the video. You have no idea how much I appreciate that you watch my videos, like them, and comment on them. It means so much to me. I really enjoy doing these YouTube videos. It's just so much fun. I just, I truly enjoy it. Here's our little boo sign. They even gave us a sign. So if you, once you've been booed, you put that in your door, your window, wherever. And so you don't go boo, you know, the same people. Everybody gets a chance to get booed. I think it's the most sweetest thing. We just love this neighborhood. And here's another clip of our backyard. I just couldn't get over how beautiful it is, how beautiful the trees are. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful place and I know I just keep saying beautiful over and over again but it's true it's it really is it in peaceful and quiet and I can't wait until we have a really good rain because you'll be able to hear the creek right now it's been pretty dry for a while where we live so once we have a good rain the neighbors say that you can hear the creek trickling down and that just sounds so wonderful and soon we should have our deck completed so I will have that coming up in a future video where you'll see a little deck makeover and hopefully we'll get some rain and we'll have this beautiful scenery out here so if that's something you guys are looking forward to hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys again for watching my videos. I truly appreciate all of you.